Hi, it's Diane from Change Food with this week's Eating Real with Change Food. So this week, I wanna talk about an article I found on NPR. Um, it actually came out yesterday, February 12th, and the title is, Trump Administration Wants to Decide What Food SNAP Recipients Will Get. Now, my blood is boiling so much that I have Stuart here, I foster dogs. Um, he's my latest foster, he's up for adoption. But the Trump administration wants to have, I think it's about 50% of the food that people get on SNAP be given to them. They will get boxes somehow of food. Now SNAP used to formally be called, it was our food stamp program, um, it's the I don't want to get it wrong. It's the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. So over 80% of all SNAP recipients, if this passes through Congress, they would get about half their benefits in the form of a USDA foods package. Now the government wants to tell states that states have to deliver this food, we don't know how, to people getting SNAP or food stamps. Now the way it works now is people have an EBT card, basically a credit card, and it gets filled with money, and then they can buy um, food at accredited stores, stores that can take the EBT card. That way, the way it's set up now is you can't buy junk food. You can't buy booze, you can't buy cigarettes. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can't get. You can get fruits and vegetables, um, and you can get healthier food. Now with what they're trying to do, and what they want to do is about half of your benefits are going to be given to you whether you want it or not. And the states are going to have to figure this out. And the states are going to figure out how this is going to get to the recipients. Now, in this article, they talk about a lot of potential problems um, with this. And, you know, they're all, they are all valid. Like, not everyone wants to be on SNAP. I mean, one thing you really need to understand is that 80% of people who receive SNAP have worked within the year before or the year after getting their benefits. Most people take advantage of it in between jobs. It's supplemental, it's to help people. Not everyone's daddy gives them a million dollars. Sorry. So anyway, this is my take on it. And this is why Stuart is sitting here with me because he's bringing down my blood pressure. The way I see it, big food having problems because people are buying less and less boxed, overprocessed, nutrient lacking food. So what better way to dump it on people than to give it out through the SNAP program and force people to eat it. So we're talking about not just cutting people's assistance, what we're talking about is long term increasing health care costs for this country. Now do you think people receiving these benefits have good health care coverage? Doubt it. So we're gonna have hospitals, emergency rooms that are gonna end up being filled with people who are gonna get sick because they're not able to eat healthy food. I think it's ridiculous. So there is one caveat. They don't know if this, this is the USDA who's doing this. They don't know if it's gonna pass Congress. <sighs> the reason I'm discussing this with you today is because I do have an issue with hunger. I mean, Change Food, we believe that nobody should be hungry. And SNAP to me is not a stopgap, but it's a step along the way to food sufficiency. We all need help sometimes, you know, and, and, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. And our government should be there to help people. I mean, uh, my taxes and your taxes have gone to help these types of programs so that if god forbid we're in that situation we can get help but but now we have the government telling us what we have to do and my whole thing is aren't republicans like anti-big government and all this is going to do is add so much bureaucracy i don't know how it can be done i just think it's ridiculous the other thing that was noted in this article is that the administration they want to cut $80 billion out of the SNAP program. Now you'd think 
you know, we do need to trim somewhere. That's four million people who aren't going to be able to get assistance. So I think, I think we should all think about it. I think that, you know, we all pay taxes and I don't want my taxes going to medical benefits for Congress. I want my taxes to go to help feed people who are having a tough time. So I don't know what to do about it. All I can do is tell you and raise awareness and call your congressman. Tell them that the USDA, this is a silly, this is silly and they shouldn't vote for it. And even though Stuart will probably be adopted very soon, you know, he's cute. He's keeping me calm. I'm not raging against the machine as I was earlier. But this is one of the things, it's one of the reasons why we need advocates. You know, people poo-poo advocates. They poo-poo work that a lot of people do. But if there isn't somebody watchdogging, um... The male patriarchy then there are going to be bigger problems than we all realize so um i just want you to be aware of it it's npr it's online it was written by allison aubrey um, i highly recommend you check it out and learn more about snap and why people get it and how it's not people do not take advantage of the system so that's it for me today. So thank you for joining me and we will be back next week. This should be posted at 12.30 p.m. on Wednesday. I made my promise. Um, and I hope you all have a great week. Please leave comments below wherever this is posted if you have any questions or anything you want to say. Um, and I know it's a complicated issue, but we've got to start the conversation. We've got to become louder. Our voices have to become louder. Okay, thank you. Bye.